A father says his daughter was suspended after being suspected of coming to school high, but when he proved it was just allergies, he says that punishment continued. Thanks for joining us, everyone. KMR Local 4's Jack Kessler has more from that father who hopes this never happens to another student. That's our top story tonight at 10. Mike Bartle's daughter suffers from severe allergies, and late last month she had an allergic reaction on a Saturday, causing her eyes to swell, and by Monday her eyes were still red. So on Sunday it was still kind of swollen. We gave her some Benadryl, um, so she'd go to school on Monday because we knew it was star testing that week. She woke up, her eyes were kind of red on Monday morning, still sent her to school. I get a phone call about 10 o'clock in the morning that she was intoxicated. Bartles adds he told the Austin Middle School administration when he comes to pick up his daughter that he would pick up a drug test at Walgreens and take it down to them. And he adds the Austin administration accused his daughter of using marijuana due to her eyes being red. She passed the drug test. They said that that drug test didn't work, that I would have to go get another one. So I went to the doctor's office, got her another drug test, and um, had to wait four days for the results. In the meantime, I took her back to school. They called me, said she can't be at school. Well, at first they said she was gonna be ISS. Then they called me back, said I needed, uh, she needed to be out of school suspension. Then they called me back again, saw on the same day, said that she was gonna have to go to an alternative school. Bartles says his daughter was allowed to take her STAR test on Tuesday, but he had to immediately pick her up afterwards because they didn't want her on campus. And Bartles says the results from the doctor's drug test would come back clean. He says his daughter is now back at Austin. The administration has since apologized and he has filed a grievance and he says they have a conference this week regarding the matter. Bartles adds that multiple people have reached out to him saying similar things have happened across the district. 100% I think there needs to be some change and I think you know everything's not black and white in any situation. I think it needs to be taken by a case by case basis and kind of look at the gray areas and, and extenuate in circumstances so we can evaluate what's going on with kids. Now, according to the Amarillo ISD Student Code of Conduct, students shall not possess, use, give, or sell alcohol or any illegal drug. They shall not possess, give, or sell seeds or pieces of marijuana in less, in less than a usable amount, be under the influence of prescription or over-the-counter drugs that cause impairment of the physical or mental faculties, according to the Code of Conduct. Under the influence means lacking the normal use of mental or physical faculties. It goes on to say impairment may be evidenced by a pattern of abnormal or erratic behavior, the presence of physical symptoms of drug or alcohol use or by admission. A student under the influence need not be legally intoxicated to trigger disciplinary action. Live in studio, Jack Hessler, KML Local 4 News. Andy? Jack, thank you. Now, according to a statement we got from Emerald ISD, quote, because of federal student privacy laws, we cannot comment on specific student situations. However, generally speaking, AISD prioritizes student and staff safety in all situations. When a safety concern is brought to our attention, campus administrators endeavor to make the best decision possible based on the information available at the time. Parents are encouraged to be a part of safety and discipline processes and to bring forward information relevant to the situation. The district wants to work in collaboration with families to ensure the best outcome for all involved." End quote. 